<clears throat> Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with um, to Yucca or not to Yucca. And uh, it looks like Natasha Denona came out with a beautiful new palette uh, called the Yucca Palette. And after the plant that's over in the uh, Western United States, and everybody's been talking about it. And so um, I've been watching a whole bunch of videos on it and for some of us it's kind of not really within our price range but you know she does some of the most gorgeous color stories ever and so I wanted to go ahead and check out and see what I had um, so I've done two different eye looks and I figured that I can show you some of the palettes that I have some of them are still available some aren't available but we can go ahead and see what we have here um, did go ahead and start off with the glow oil this is by super goop it has an SPF of 50 in it uh, then I went ahead and used the Pretty Fresh, and this is the Fair 30, um, and this is by ColourPop, and the Pretty Fresh Concealer as well. As far as uh, what I did, oh, I, I forgot one of my primers, and I have some new products to introduce you to. This is Sheer Envy uh, Glow Serum by Hard Candy, and um, went ahead and picked this up. I have this on and the glow serum so we're really glowy today and um, so again this is what's under the pretty fresh uh, by ColourPop and so uh, this is a very very glowy serum in fact I'll go ahead and do a little bit here but yeah it's what it looks like there and then it definitely it has a little bit of a tint it's very very moisturizing and it definitely gives you a glowy shimmer kind of look so yeah that's what i have on as my actual primer today um again the pretty fresh and fair 30. um i did go ahead and pick up another one of uh the uh this is all part of the face off line by um hard candy and so this is their uh blush and this one's in big deal I think no be real be real so this is um, be real and this is what I have on as far as uh, the blush it's a glowy peach and um, let's see as far as the rest of it I have the sky high um, by Maybelline for the mascara the next thick it stick it in light ash or cool ash brown and then the She Glam Bronzer. This is the one in Morning Beam. It's their lightest color. She Glam, uh, you can actually get on the Sheen website. And so, um, another tip and trick that I've been finding that works really well is that I'll go ahead and apply a liquid blush first and then go ahead and put on a powder bronzer over the liquid blush and it helps it to stay on longer during the day so that's what i have on there um i did go ahead and pick up another hard candy um this is peach please and it's a highlighter and so uh that's what i have on for my highlighter today and yeah it wants to go really glowy in the camera there so yeah that's kind of the color. There we go. So uh, that's what I have on for the base today. Um, as far as some of the palettes, I found that the color story um, in general, there are some of the older ColourPop palettes that have it in there. Um, but that silver that's in uh, the Yucca palette, um, that doesn't necessarily, that isn't in all of the palettes that have this particular color story, which is a really pretty color story. Um, for some of the more recent ones um, that you know have a color story that's close to this um i would go ahead and say garden of juvias does um again it has it's going to have the yellows um the greens it has um a brown down here you got a, 
a peachy corally color up here and you could maybe use this purple if you wanted to and replace uh, to replace the gray but um, like I said it's this half of the palette is going to be close to that color story so that's what I found there uh, the Winks palette by ColourPop so if you have this one, I think this one is actually sold out. I hope they restock it. It's a really good palette. Um, but again, you have the you have the greens, you have the yellow, um, you have some shimmers in here, uh, the oranges, and um, the, the pink up here. Um, but again, with both of these palettes, you don't have that gray. And that's what I really found when looking through uh, my palettes. ABH Norvina. This is their Mini Pro Pigment Palette Volume 2. This just uh, went back into, it's been re-released on Sephora. And so again, you have the greens, um, you have the brown, and um, an orangey here, so an orangey color, and the yellow. So um, you have the same vibe. It's not exactly the same, but it's a really good palette nonetheless. Uh, this palette from ColourPop is still available over at Ulta and it's the Wild Nothing palette so that's what it looks like and um, it does have a lot of the same color story. It has a green, um, it has some oranges and some peaches and some dark browns so you know again it doesn't have that gray color to, in there. Uh, one that's not available anymore but I think pretty much comes pretty close is Limoncello um, by ColourPop. Has a lot of the same feeling about it. Again, the green and the yellow. Um, you got the browns, some oranges. Um, this duochrome here could kind of give you that, um, that gray feeling. Maybe not completely, but you know, it's there for you. So um, again, the same feeling, the same color story same vibe. She's got Solstice. Uh, if you have this one, again this one isn't available anymore from ColourPop, but yeah it does have that same vibe as well. Um, and it's got you know the the peaches and the brown and the green um, and, and the gold. It doesn't have any of the yellows though. And then Sprinkle a Little Magic. Uh, again not available anymore on ColourPop, but yeah. It has some of those colors. If you have it, you might want to pull it out to, you know, see what you can get. Um, you've got a lot of greens to play with, the gold. Um, um, let's see, this is like a, a coral and a dark coral. Um, these, this one might get close to that gray color. So, you know, if you have these, definitely these would give you looks that would be in the same family, the same ballpark, but they wouldn't necessarily be exactly the same. Um, a couple of palettes that are still available that I think are going to get you a lot closer to being able to dupe that particular look. Um, it's a Mood by ColourPop it is still available on the website. It's one of their mega palettes. And it actually dupes quite a lot of palettes. Um, this whole row over here, this is going to give you the green, um, a mossy green, a gold, um, a, really, a really strong gold. You have some peaches and corals and some browns over here on this side of the palette. So yeah, this palette, um, this, this side row, this row on the end here, or this column on the end here, and then this column on the end over here. If you mix those two, you're probably going to be able to get something close. So uh, that's one palette that I'd say is still available that's going to get you close to that kind of a look. And this green, yeah, this green looks like it's, and then this one, this grungy green, or olive green, is, yeah, it's going to get you closer. And another one that is still available is by Profusion. This is Sunkissed. Um, Profusion is usually sold at Walmart. And um, as far as the color story, it it has a lot of it. Um, these 
these three rows over here or three columns over here so this one this one and this one you're going to get the greens the yellows um, and some browns and then you could go into something like this or even something like this to get more of a silver to go ahead and you know so this one definitely you could definitely get some looks that are really close and um, so we're down to the palettes that I actually use today and um, as far as what's still available that I think is going to get you pretty close to what the um, what that color palette is is this one is fresh greens by ColourPop it's available over at Target and on the ColourPop website and it has a lot of um, that palette in it. Um, it definitely has the greens and you have a matte and um, a matte and a shimmer. This one is a duochrome and it gets you close to the gray. Uh, you got two dark browns. Really um, this one you'd need to bring in some yellows and maybe some peaches or peachy colors. This one's okay, but it's really light. Um, I did use this one on my eyes today. It's on this eye. And what I did was I went ahead and used this in the crease. Um, I used this one in the outer corner and then this in the outer corner as well. Went ahead and put this on the lid this on the inner corner and then this one from the inner corner yeah inner corner up to the eyebrow and let's see so it's this one and that's how the look turned out and I did go ahead and use uh, this one this is a ColourPop gel eyeliner in green and so that's what I have as the eyeliner on the bottom so um, as far as the greens and the gray, this one pretty much does it. If you want to play more with the yellow, you would have to bring yellow from a different palette in and some peach in. You would need to bring that in too. But I had a great time. I, I love going through my uh, collection trying to find uh, dupes for different things because it's, it's just fun. And so um, the other eye and this side um, I have on a new profusion palette. Well, it's new to me. It's been out for a while, but it's called Dreamscape. And so this is Dreamscape. And um, yeah, you got these um, duochrome gold to green here. You got a couple of, you have a light green here, a dark green. Um, you have a yellow. A couple of different yellows, brown. Okay, so the SD card was full and I had to go and change it out and I'm back again. And I actually have a few more pa palettes that I found or thought about while I was uh, going ahead and fixing the SD card. Um, but let's finish up with Dreamscape. Again, this is a new to me palette from Profusion. Again, you can get these over at Walmart. Um, yeah. I went ahead and used, um, let's see, what did I use? I went ahead and used uh, this one in the crease, and then I used this right above that. Uh, this palette does have this beautiful gray in here that I went ahead and put on the lid. Um, and let's see, what else did I do? I went ahead and added in uh, this Emride um, eyeliner in black to go ahead and do the look. I have it on this eye and this is how the look turned out. So um, yeah this one definitely has uh, the grassy greens and um, over right in here the yellows. Um, it has a peachy color which it's in there but it didn't really show up a lot. Um, I think I'll go ahead and use this one for an inner corner pop. There we go. So yeah, it's this one. So again, you're looking for grassy greens, um, a gunmetal gray, uh, let's see, um, the yellows, and if you can find some duochrome uh, yellows, um, 
couple of peaches and browns and that's you know any palette that has some of those you're going to be able to get a look that's close uh, i found a couple of other ones i can't believe i almost skipped this one the child palette by ColourPop. this one has a lot of that in there um, you get a gray you get the grassy greens um, you have a gold and a couple of browns this is more like a peach so this one definitely you can go ahead and get that look with um, <clears throat> this on the list by ColourPop it came out uh, during um, the holidays and again you got the green you got the peaches and the browns and um, a couple of really uh, grungy colors in there as well um, this one doesn't have the golds in there or the yellows so you'd have to bring that in okay so um, those are the ones uh, that I found in my collection that I think will go ahead and work for you and um, again uh, a lot of these are still available some of these you may already have in your collection again what I came up with was I went ahead and used the gray um, on the lid here and then over here I went ahead and um, so yeah this is one that I went ahead and used the dreamscape on and then this one I went ahead and used the fresh greens by ColourPop and so it's really pretty color story uh, grassy greens that gunmetal gray you could go with the pewter um, you can do the yellows and the golds if you have any duochrome yellows that would be gorgeous and uh, some peaches and some browns and they're just all really pretty colors and they make a really pretty summer look so I think that's just about the whole video and I think I showed you just about half of my palette collection so um, it's not difficult to find it it's just that it's it is a unique color story and it's a very pretty color story and so I think that's about the video and thank you and have a great day okay bye